hey y'all, hey y'all, hey. And it is Take Care of Yourself Thursdays. And how am I taking care of myself this Thursday? By eating fermented food. I know I look gaunt, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to get the meat back on my face and my neck. Um, I'm going to be eating my kimchi. And I'm going to be testing out this tapache that I made. It's the fermented pineapple um, peel. And this is some of the fermented pineapple. And I got me a big salad and up under here. I'll show you out a video. I got me some fun little stir-fry with onion, garlic, and hot chili oil. And it's riding side saddle on my saddle. So, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, y'all. I gotta get a cup. I'll be right back. Thank you for providing for me and loading my benefits daily. I thank you for this food in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This cat, I think I'm going to have to take him to the vet because he's limping. He's not going outside anymore. We just don't have a battle roar because I think his leg is either sprained. He won't let me touch it. And he thinks he's going outside, but he's not. I'm tired of this. I'm gonna put my foot down. I need to taste these noodles. First bite. <laughs> Nod to Quan Tran. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That tastes so good. Mm. She said in the video the link of the kombucha video. She said you can tell when it's ready the top kind of bubbles and I didn't want the bottles to explode so I took them out early. Not that much fermentation. Oh, it's a little bubbles. I stand corrected. <laughs> it tastes like kombucha, but 
I don't really like the cinnamon in it. It's definitely an acquired taste, but it's not bad, but the cinnamon makes the pineapple taste. I don't know. Kind of perfumey, for lack of a better word. Mm. Delicioso. <laughs> Delectable sauce. Got my rice and my seaweed. What? Mm. Mm. It got bubbly in the refrigerator. Mm. It's so good. I can't buy the ones at the grocery store a lot of times <coughs> at the Asian market. And I love, love, love shrimp, but I don't eat shrimp anymore. And most of the brands have for um shrimp paste in them. Mm. But to take care of your body <coughs> from the inside out, you should try to incorporate some kind of fermented food into your diet. Mm. To get that good probiotic. in your digestive system. Mm. Mm. You'll never want soda again. <laughs> mm. I'm 
mouth is on fire. But I will link in the description box below this video the benefits of kombucha for your gut health, for your immune system, It's just good for you on so many different levels. Mm, it tastes so good. But I just been running around all morning. Had to go get some cat food at Walmart. Mm. <clears throat> it's just a gloomy day. It looks like it's gonna rain. combination of the rice, the seaweed, and the kimchi, mm. taking care of myself this Thursday. Oh. 
I'm going to warm it. Let me show you all that. Sit in that hallway until your big brother comes home. I stopped him good enough. <laughs> Introduced Bravo Sierra USA. It's, um, this company sends proceeds to veterans and it's called Bravo Sierra USA deodorant. This is the citrus seaweed, and you can see how much I paid for it and how much it originally cost eight dollars. And then I got my favorite set the white vetiver <laughs> in cedar wood. So they were on plants. And then I found this and it was a dollar, but it rang up as eight. So I had to go to customer service. Oh, I hate going to customer service at Walmart. <laughs> I was standing there and this lady just walked right in front of me like I wasn't even standing there. And when the lady came back to customer service and helping somebody by the cashier, she said, oh, was you standing in line? No, I'm just <laughs> standing here for nothing. But this is a combination eyeliner and nail lash glue. And it is a dollar. And then I found this. And it's supposed to be $14, and it was two, and it's to take off. I said, why not? Because you know how you put this stuff on, it's so hard to take off because some of your eyeliner is waterproof. It says that this is good for even taking off 24-hour waterproof um, makeup. And this right here was in the clearance aisle, and it was only 58 cents. It is a lip balm. So that's what I got. I got four of these eyelash stuff, this makeup remover, and some lip. Mm. <laughs> I eat these things like potato chips. I love potato chips. They are my kryptonite. I can eat potato chips like uh all these bag of potato chips every day for one week and i guarantee you i've gained 20 pounds i love potatoes but they don't love me so i have to put that love hate relationship away so moving right along this is what i found at the good food. Twenty bucks. I had twenty dollars in my pocket. Everything that was pink, half off. So I got this hat, which retails for sixty bucks. I got a nutcracker for my Brazil nuts because I don't know where mine is. And I ain't gonna try to crack with my teeth no more. And this had two stickers, but she let me get it for half off. So it was $2. It's a attachment for spaghetti and fettuccine. 
for my pasta machine. Then I found this, a big piece of soapstone. It's a heart that says love, paperweight. That wouldn't let me put it down. Then I found some yoga pants. With a pink tag. And these are extra large. And I thought they were cute. And they have a little... Here's a little invisible pocket. I love these when I'm traveling. Because you can keep all your credit cards and loose money for when you're waiting for a plane. And you don't want to dig in your purse and bring out your wallet. I always had these. And I just, I went through um, security and they didn't stop. So, I don't know. But that was what I traveled to my money in those little box. I love those pants for that. And then I found this company right here. I think it's called Beatles. And it's a gel nail polish that's not supposed to have the harmful fumes. I didn't know that gel nail polish was like really top, excuse me, toxic. But I got this color with this. I got a hot green. Let's see. Because I'm not going back to the nail shop. I meant to tell y'all. I went to the nail shop. And they were so mean. And I was like, what is wrong with these people? They started talking in whatever language they were talking. And I started talking in tongues. And they wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> with the Holy Ghost on me. And this one is blue. And she got mad at me because I wouldn't let her use a cheese grater on my feet. I just want to show y'all something. And I'm not trying to be funny. You see my heels? <laughs> I don't have that callus buildup. Because when you let them grate your feet like cheese, your body makes a thicker skin to protect your heel and your bones, especially if you walk all day and stand all day and don't have on good work shoes. So that callus is actually your body trying to protect itself and they keep shaving it off. And this one is silver. And she got mad because I wouldn't let her grate my feet. I was like, I don't know what kind of hoofs you've been working on, but you're not putting that on my feet. One time they did that and they drew blood because I was relaxing and she just assumed that I had rough feet and they were so scared. My foot would not stop bleeding. She was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I said, you just can't assume that everybody needs a cheese grater on their heels. That's just not right. So y'all be careful going to these nail shops. I would really suggest that you go to a reputable spa instead of just a regular nail shop, especially these ones in our neighborhood. They don't like us. I don't care what they say. They don't like us. They like our money. And you can take that any way you want to because I know how I'm gonna treat it. And you don't have to treat me less than human and I'm sitting here giving you my hard earned money and you're trying to hurt me. And to make matters even worse, I was looking down after she did my feet. Do you know this lady tried to put my feet on a towel with visible blood stains, blood drops on it? <laughs> I 
I'm not going to tell y'all the name of the shop because if you go into a shop to get your nails done and they can't give you a clean towel to service your feet, you need to pick up yourself and get out of there as quick as you can because that's what I did. And I had the color, uh, the glitter color that I always get. I buy it at the nail shop. So when my when it grows out, if it's not chipped anywhere, I just fill it in with um, the gel nail color. I just buy my I just whatever color I get done at the nail shop, I try to put it in my phone and then I go to the nail supply shop and I buy that color. And this one is a hot pink. And I do my own touch-ups. And I have a machine to set the nails, but it's not professional, but I found one that did. And then this is baby pink. And I think it's another green. I think this one is a hot pink. Did I show y'all that one? So... Those were the gel nails that I bought today. And this is the name of the company if y'all want to look it up. And all this stuff. Came up to 20 bucks. But this is the, the nail on the gel nail thing. That's the name of it. I don't know what it retails for. There's a 180 watt super sonobid sonobid nail lamp and it was seven dollars and I tested it before I left because as you know at G Dubs, I don't know if it's nationwide, but at the G Dubs in my neck of the woods, there's no refund, no return. You bought it, you stuck with it. You can't bring it back. So I got me eight different gel nail colors and the gel nail lamp uh, cure. A fettuccine and spaghetti attachment. A nutcracker. A stone heart. <laughs> Which is so <laughs> ironic. Because my heart is not made out of stone. It's actually quite soft and mushy. To my detriment. But yeah. That's what I got, y'all. And that's how I'm taking care of myself this Thursday by trying to eat healthy. Mm. Save a few bucks. And live well. I am truly blessed. What do y'all have planned for today? I hope you enjoyed your holiday weekend. Mm -hmm.
over the hump and at the last stretch of the week. Tomorrow is Friday. And I have not a fish to fry. <laughs> But I'm gonna dig in my freedom and see what I can see. Mm. Yummers. <laughs> I got a receipt for that one too. Mm. Mm. I shouldn't put that on my head. I forgot. I was usually spraying everything with Lysol, but I went in my bathroom. Somebody must have knocked over the Lysol and the bottle is brand new. <laughs> yeah, you don't believe me. Let me tell you. bacteria but this brand new hat but still you don't know who's been trying it on so I'm gonna spray it real good with this and put it in front of the fan. Leave me alone with that. You're not going outside. Stop it. Let it out. come in and check in with y'all make sure you're taking care of yourself this Thursday don't make me come and get you and I hope that you'll try some fermented food incorporate it in your diet and if you buy this brand, save your bottles. If you want to try to make some tapache or some kombucha, because the lady told me you can use these bottles over and over and over and over. And I just want you to see the seal. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is the ginger and pineapple kombucha. And that seal 
was able to give me all that carbonation in my second fermentation, but I went to Pick and Save, and these run you almost four bucks. They Pick and Save, they're from $3.29 to $3.99. And for some reason, at the Pick and Save that's far away from my house, people don't buy kombucha. And they had all of these for a dollar. And they were about to expire in like four days. And I said, you know what? If I go to Amazon, it's gonna cost me way more than a dollar to buy some kombucha or fermentation safe glass, that's thick glass that can handle the pressure of the second fermentation of kombucha or beer or stuff like that. But I was just happy. I would have just bought it if it was expired just for the bottle. So I got like 20 of these. And when I find out, found out that I could reuse them to make kombucha, I was so happy. But if you ever see this, try the pink label. Oh my God. When I started working at Outpost way back in the day, in the early 2000s, they introduced me to kefir, water kefir, milk kefir, kombucha, and all kind of probiotic food and drinks. And they introduced me to, I had never tasted a Fiji apple. I had never tasted a pink lady. And I had never tasted a honey crisp apple. When I tell you that they would get half my check and produce every payday, I'm not kidding you. Because the pink ladies were organic and they were about this big. And one of them, you paid close to, they were like $3.99 $3 a pound. For like one of them, you paid five bucks or more. So I would buy me four apples and be out of 20 bucks easy. But if you really want a good apple, like if you live anywhere near an orchard, this is the perfect time of the year to go apple picking, y'all. Especially if you live in Wisconsin, it's like, it's a lost art. You pay so much money and you go in the or orchards and you pick your own apples. And I think September is Honeycrisp. August, September is Honeycrisp season. And I think the pink ladies come after. I'm not sure, I don't have my schedule with me. But some hand-picked pink lady apples. If you are a fan of crab apples, <laughs> you'll love the pink lady. It's a crisp apple, it's sweet, and it's tangy. And if you like a hard, crisp apple that's sweet and explodes in your mouth, get you a honey crisp apple. I, oh my goodness. I stand 10 toes down. Pink Lady is my first favorite. And then Honeycrisp, Fiji, Gala. I don't like Macintosh though. I don't like mushy apples. Um, it's another apple. Galas are pretty good. And those Envies at Aldi's are pretty good too. If they don't have the Honeycrisp. But Oh, and it's another, it's a cross bead breed. I think it's called Lady Alice at um, all these. If you ever see that, I think it's $4.99 and you get about five apples. I think it's, that's the name of it. It's a cross between, between uh, Pink Lady and another apple. But if you ever see this kombucha in the store, try this. Just try one and try to eat it, I mean drink it before you eat any dinner and just let it be the first thing on your stomach especially if you're fasting or you break a fast. Try to incorporate something fermented with some good fat to get your stomach healed. And that's all I have to say about the kombucha. <laughs> And I don't have to buy anymore. 
I got my bottles, I got my SCOBY. But if I ever see it on sale or I'm out and about and I want some kombucha, I'll break for this one. And the lemon ginger in this one. Oh my God, the pomegranate. So is this one the gem, the lim, the lemon ginger and the pomegranate? I think I had the blueberry once, but they don't have that often. But you see all that, all that stuff floating around in there. Don't be scared. <laughs> Drink it, it's good for you. And I guarantee you, you can go to any store and you'll never find a kombucha with teeming with probiotics like this unless you make it yourself or you actually go to somebody who brews it. It's good stuff, Maynard. Here's the elf. Ching, ching. <laughs> God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> I love y'all.